Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and I'm late to go in live for a live stream, so this will be a quick little video. But I wanted to show you guys the May PvP tier changes for Pokey MMO. Some pretty big stuff. Whether you play PvP, whether you play the game to play for profit, Pokey and yet whatever, everybody needs to be aware of PvP changes. I always say this because some of the best Pokemon to breed for profit come from PvP changes. Let's just jump into it. So he says, first month 5.5 to go up, three down to move down. What this means is it's the first month of a i believe three month season and it's 5.5 percent usage to go up a tier so for example quagsire was used in uu more than 5.5 percent of games so it's getting moved up to uu that means it can withstand there and then three down to move down that means if a pokemon was used less than three percent of the time in its tier that it's already in it'll go down and yan mega was used less than three percent of the time in uu so yan mega will be getting moved down to to NU, I believe, which is a really, really big deal. A lot of people are super scared about Yon Mega. A lot of people are saying that it's going to be broken. Um, I'm curious to see what happens. This might, this might not happen. I feel like I've seen some other discussion surrounding this and people saying it should have never gone down in the first place. We'll see. It might actually get stopped. In-game, it does still say, I'm going to be honest, we can actually show, in-game, it does still say that Yanmega is in UU, so this might have gotten vetoed. I haven't seen an updated, updated post regarding this. Um, you can always check on your Pokedex, check out tiers, check what's going on. I wish they had a better way to kind of show you the, what's been recently moved. I don't know if they, they show that in-game, unfortunately. They show bans. Uh, Shaman's also under big speculation in UU, which is sort of being shown here as well. There's an ongoing vote, which will be concluded at the time tier changes go live in game in a few days to retest Shaman in UU. Uh, but from this, Quag Sire should be getting moved up. Let's check to see if Quag got moved up. It's possible these changes just aren't in the game yet. Uh, but no, actually, Quag Sire did get moved up to UU. So it's possible that Yon Mega change isn't happening. I wish I could have found information regarding that before I made this video. Um, but I haven't been able to see any updated posts. Let's just, let's just, you know what? Let's go ahead and actually go live and see. Let's see. Okay, this, here we go. I got it, fellas. We found it live. The following changes are now live in-game. Quagsire to UU from NU. Shaman to UU for testing. And then Yanmeja is banned to BL2. So, Yanmeja, unfortunately, not actually making it down to NU. That would have been insane. A lot of people were saying it would have been too broken. I would have loved to see. Would have loved to see Yanmeja um, added to NU. It would have been really fun. I love the Pokemon. It would have been a selfish thing. It would have been cool to see. If it was broken, it's broken. You know, we can ban it back out. That's okay. Um... Interesting to see another reason why I kind of don't love the forums like the, the this is on the end of the forum like page three so they expect you to kind of read through all of this to see the actual changes as opposed to updating the initial post hey these are the changes that are going live the Pokemon forums I always say are kind of archaic which is why I kind of try to make these videos to show you guys the information in a more modern format on YouTube hopefully this was helpful so final changes Quagsire up to UU Shaman testing in, in UU it seems like Yanmega no actual change changes uh keep an eye on yanmega though it might get moved down to nu we'll see it's not performing very well in uu i'm pretty sure let's go ahead and double check i'm pretty sure it's just not doing well in uu so i mean it's doing actually it's doing better than i expected 4.8 percent usage not many games played so far 50 percent win rate honestly not bad for yanmega it was it was at around 2.8 2 percent or so usage last month so better for it but uh what this means is quagsire go breed some quagsires go make some quagsires quagsires are probably pretty darn good for profit right now let's go ahead and double check let's see what a good quagsire is going for uh let's see if we do usually they go special attacking if you're not if you're not for sure so usually they want to spam scald is the huge benefit so i'm gonna go ahead and do 20 plus you don't even need the speed stat on quagsire you only need four stats on quagsire so you could go ahead and get a super cheap one like this breed it up a little bit maybe get a nature onto it uh if we go ahead and get like a good nature onto quagsire let's just go ahead and see i would recommend checking pvp stats to see what people are running you might need hidden ability access yeah i was gonna say that's important Let's check out. So uh, you do need hidden ability access on Quagsire for it to be competitively viable. As you can see, 100% of people are running unaware. Obviously, the season just started, uh, but it makes sense. So let's go ahead and check. What's the cheapest 
hidden ability quagsire going with these stats looking at around 30k there honestly i kind of want to go ahead and pick that up and do so i'm going to be doing some breeds of uh, on, honestly of quagsire personally so if you want to see that come check out the live streams monday through thursday but that's it for me i'll see you guys later hopefully this video was helpful in some way peace arena